about that is they show us the centrifuge and all of the work that was done on the, the rocket ships. How much time did you folks, as the actors, actually spend on the soundstage? Was it that you got brought in for a certain amount of time and then they did all the FX of that day and age before and after you were gone? Well, uh, um, for all the principal, I mean, the principal of photography was, we were there for most of all. Okay. You know, they, there were certain, there were a lot of miniatures that were intercut mm. for uh, showing this, showing the Enterprise. Oh my God! Well, yeah, what was the name of our station? <laughs> I've had too many discovery. mornings. The discovery. The discovery <laughs> going through space, and it was, you know, and, and there were a lot of special effects intercut. Right. But if there were human beings, mm. for the most part, a couple of of the extra vehicular activity shots where we were kind of where I went to to repair the uh, the antenna mm. uh, for the long shots, we're, mm. we're stuntmen just hanging from wires or whatever. But other than that, mm. everything was us. Mm. No. Well, we'll get intellectual here for a second. Is that that film distorts your perspective? Basically, you're seeing people walk upside down. You're seeing people walk sideways. <coughs> when you were acting in that particular centrifuge, was that particularly difficult, or were you all straight up all the time, or were there times when you were tilted, or were you, oh, you no know, going upside down? No, there was one time. Um, it, it's kind of interesting because Kier uh, walks. He climbs up the hub right. and then walks up to me, and oh, that's great. and in, in this shot I'm upside down, right. hanging up there. And I walk up to him. And he walks up to <laughs> me, the and they, right. because the camera, you see, the camera travels with Kier. Right, right. And and so you see me hanging up there, and then it looks like he walks up to me. Well, upside they bring, down. They bring me down. Uh, well, the yeah. the part that you might enjoy is uh, on action. Stanley said to me, because you hadn't seen Kier quite mm -hmm. and then, he had made his appearance in that shot. And so I'm sitting up there and Stanley said, okay, on action, Locke would just start eating. So I've, I've got a fork and I've got three dishes in front of me. Remember those dishes we had? Yeah, yeah. So I take this fork out and I carve off, and I'm upside down, it's a little awkward, <laughs> you know. And I, I take it like this and I bring it to my mouth and it goes, shh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that was the end of day one, wasn't it? I mean, you know what I mean. But you, what he, what he, what, what he, what he hasn't told you was, is that this is all done in one shot. It mm -hmm. wasn't done in in separate takes. Right. So, so he was yeah. upside down, <laughs> and it, a harness was hidden under his costume. So he was hanging from a harness, try, and they finally had to paste the pieces of food so it didn't fall down toward the camera. Wow. So then you see me come out the hub, which is in the middle of the shot, the middle of the frame, come down to the bottom of the frame, and then walk up the curve of the, of the centrifuge up to him. Apparent, all in one shot. How that was, was I didn't walk up to him. I just stayed, I just walked in place. They revolved him okay. down to you me. Turn. But the camera being subjective doesn't know that. Right. This is a brilliant mm -hmm. idea. Because all the special effects in Space Odyssey were done mechanically mm -hmm. or chemically. Mm -hmm. There was no uh, digital, or what do you call it, uh, computer enhanced uh, special right. effects. They didn't exist then. Right. 